Chapter 6.5, graph square root and cube root functions. So first of all, our square root function takes the general form of y equals a times the square root of x minus h plus k. So we can identify first of all that this is a square root because we have this is the same thing as x minus h to the one half, which has the form of the square root of x minus h without the 2 here, so it, it basically has a 2 there. And then this is this cube root because we can see the 3 here. So next we're going to be graphing the functions with these forms. So if you remember from our basic quadratic functions, the a shows a vertical shrink or transformation, whereas the h and k show vertical and horizontal translations. So the parent functions of each of these. We're going to be talking first about the square root function. So the parent function is f of x equals the square root of x, or y equals the square root of x, and passes through the points 0, 0, and 1, 0. And if you plot, this is from plugging it into our xy table or using a calculator. So if we continue to graph, we get this graph. Excuse me, if you continue to plot points, we'll have this graph. And then similarly for our y equals the cube root of x, we're going to start with 0, 0, because if you plot that or plug that point into our equation, that's what we get. And we have 1, 1, and negative 1, negative 1. So, all together, when we connect all of our points, and usually you'll have more points than this, we have this shape. I'm just talking in this um, slide about the general forms of our square and cube root functions. So we're told to graph y equals 1 half times the square root of x. So first, let's make our xy value table, in which we can plug in a value for x, and then or have a value for x, plug it into the equation to solve for y. So we get 0, 0, 1.5, 2, 0 0.71, 3, 0 0.81, and then I ran out of room, but 4 is 1. So these I've just plugged into the calculator and come up with these. And I'm going to plot these points, and they have the general shape of this here. Now when we compare this to our parent graph of y equals the square root of x, actually I'll do this in red, so our parent graph in red would look more like this. So we know that when we multiply our parent graph by a number less than 1, so our a is less than 1, our graph is shrunk vertically. Next, let's move on to our problem b. We have y equals negative 3 times the cube root of x. So we're going to again plug into our xy table. This time we're going to start with values that are negative and not just 0. So we have this range from negative 2 to 2. And if you remember our parent graphs, we were going to do this because our graph is not just in the first quadrant, but also in the third quadrant. So once again, I'm finding these after plugging them into the calculator. So after plotting this, I will get <coughs> something like this. Compared to our parent graph, which again is in red, our parent graph will look something like this. So translations are radical functions. We have, once again, our standard form in which h and k are the vertical and horizontal translations. So first we have our problem, which is y equals negative 2 times the square root of x minus 3 plus 2. First we're going to sketch y equals negative 2 times the square root of x. This is our parent graph for this, um, for this problem. And this will look something like this graph here in which we have the point 1, negative 2. And again, this graph is not to scale. 
1, negative 2, 0, 0. And then we're going to translate it to y equals negative 2, x minus 3, plus 2. So we have h with 3, and k is 2. So we have a point 3, 2. And we're going to do the same distance between these two points till we get to 4, 0. This is our translation. You can also make an XY table for this and just plug in points for 0, 1, 2, etc. and plug them into this equation here. Next we have the problem y equals 3 times the cube root of x plus 4 minus 1. So once again we're going to sketch our parent graph. So we have our axes. And to sketch our parent graph we need our point 0, 0. And our point negative 1, negative 3. So our graph will look, oh, and 1, 3, excuse me. And then our graph, once again, will look like this. And then we're going to translate it. H is negative 4, and K is positive 1. So just a rough sketch of what our translation would look like. We have these points here. So clearly this my graph wasn't the scale, but this is a much better graph showing our parent form in red and our translated form in blue.